This is Healthy Habits. I'm wearing red today for a very specific reason. When I was doing my research on the topic of sugar for this video, I came upon the website for the American Heart Association and I learned that they are 100 years old this year. In the early 1920s, the greatest killer of the population was cardiovascular disease and they were trying to find a way to figure out how to slow that down. So in 1924, they created the American Heart Association. And I provided the link in the description below. It provides a wealth of information on all different facets of heart health. And I'm not a doctor and I don't give out medical advice, but I do a lot of reading. And sometimes I think it's nice to have somebody kind of check this stuff out and then share it with you. Because one of the things that I found was a little bit confusing is when I was doing my label reading, there's sugar and there's added sugar. And there is a difference. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, according to the American Heart Association, the average adult consumes about 17 teaspoons of sugar a day. The, the, the maximum for an adult man is supposed to be nine teaspoons. And for a woman, it's supposed to be six teaspoons. And so when you're consuming 17 teaspoons of sugar a day, you times that by a year, it comes out to about 60 pounds of added sugar, not natural sugar, but added sugar. And this four pound bag of sugar, which I make syrup to feed my hummingbirds, is about four pounds. It would be about 15 bags of this sugar. The numbers are a little staggering when you really think about it. And so what I wanted to do today was talk about sugar versus natural sugar. And by doing that, I'm going to use these two examples right here. This is a five ounce jar of yogurt. On the label, it states that there is 19 grams of sugar in this little five ounce container. And then it says added sugar of 12 grams. So I wasn't sure whether that meant you add the 12 to the 19 or the 12 was in the 19. But in my research, I learned that it's actually 19 is the total. This actually has seven grams of natural sugar, which probably derives from the milk products or fruit or what might be in the product naturally. And then they add sugar, which they add those 12 grams of sugar and you end up with 19 grams of sugar. Now you have this yogurt over here, which strictly states that there are two grams of sugar. That's it, no other added sugar. And that is it now. Does this yogurt taste like this yogurt? Of course it doesn't. This is very sweet. This is not. Is it good? Yes, it is. And your palate will adjust. Now, you think about having a little yogurt. If you have this, a soda, soda, according to the American Heart Association, soda, um, fruit juice, energy drinks, and coffee and tea rate the highest on our sugar consumption. This can of soda, which doesn't have any natural because it's soda, has 36 grams of sugar or over eight teaspoons of sugar. So if you have this yogurt and then later on you have that soda, you do the math. And so we really sometimes don't think about how much sugar that we consume. And we really do need to because we want to avoid obesity and diabetes and even dental health. And when you have bad dental health, bad dental health affects your heart as well. It's all kind of intertwined. And when I had done my DNA a number of years ago, I learned that I got a health report back that said that uh, diabetes was in my DNA. That doesn't mean I'm going to get it, but it was a little scary, the fact that it was even mentioned. So I'm hoping that my, this video explains to you the difference between sugar and added sugar and helps you read that label a little bit more. So please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. And please watch my next video for next Healthy Habits Friday on sodium. And thank you for watching.